What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Fireside Giants. I'm your host, Anthony Rivardo, and today on the Fireside Giants podcast presented by Empire Sports Media, we're going to be talking about that report. Yes, that report. Yesterday, Pat Leonard of the New York Daily News revealed that the New York Giants are shopping former first-round pick Kadarius Toney. New York Giants wide receiver was really phenomenal as a rookie when healthy, really struggled to stay on the field, has been in some controversy recently because he hasn't been to the voluntary workouts under the new regime. But now, according to Pat Leonard, the Giants are shopping Kadarius Tony, not even just listening to trade offers for him, but they're going around actively trying to trade him. So that's what Pat Leonard's report stated yesterday. Uh, he tweeted out, breaking Giants are looking to trade wide receiver Kadarius Tony, making calls on what they can get for their 2021 first round pick. Now, to me, I think you all can assume how I feel about this. This is a reaction video. I'm going to react poorly to this news. I think this is horrible news. I think that if the Giants actually do go ahead and trade Kadarius Toney, it's a really bad idea and it sets a bad precedent. Now, I'll go through all of the reports and rumors that we're hearing about this topic right now, of course, throughout this video. Make sure you leave your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. What do you think about this potential trade that could happen? Do you want to see Kadarius Tony go? Do you understand where they're coming from? Or are you super against it like I am? And now I'm going to go ahead and explain why I'm super against this, because I do think it is a really bad idea. So the New York Giants traded back in the 2021 first round to draft Kadarius Tony with a 20th overall pick, right? Kadarius Tony. Maybe some people thought he was a reach at the time, but then we started to watch him play and he was super explosive, very electric on the field. He just couldn't stay on the field because he wasn't healthy. And then he also had a couple of question marks, red flags in terms of his personality trait and his character off the field. I understand all of that. But what I also understand is that this is a tremendous talent, arguably the most talented player on the Giants offense in terms of just physical and athletic ability combined with technical skill. And once you take all those things and you look at Kadarius Tony as a football player, not as a person, but as a football player, he is arguably the most physically gifted and talented player on the Giants offense, maybe only second to Saquon Barkley, right? Kadarius Tony is talented, extremely talented. And the Giants should not give up on talent after just one year. Now, I completely understand he was drafted by the last regime. This is a Joe Judge and Dave Gettleman draft pick. And of course, Brian Dable coming in here with Joe Shane, they have no reason or, you know, they don't owe anything to Kadarius Tony. They don't owe him anything. They have every reason and every right to trade him if they want to. But that doesn't mean that they should, in my opinion, because I think it sets a bad precedent. Like, yes, they're not Canaries Tony is not one of their guys, right? It's not a Brian Dable, Joe Shane draft pick or signing. It's nobody that they've ever worked with in the past. I understand all of that. So yeah, they have no obligation to the young man, but they have an obligation to build the best roster that the New York Giants could possibly build. And when you have a player this talented on your roster, the, he, I mean, Kadarius Tony has such amazing potential. We talk about Debo Samuel, right? San Francisco 49ers. These two players are very similar. Kadarius Tony does look in many ways like a young Debo Samuel. He's got the ability to develop into that kind of player. And Debo Samuel now is, you know, maybe going to yield a first round pick in a trade for the 49ers. If not, he's going to get probably a second round pick or third round pick at the bare minimum. It's not going to be a mid round pick. It's going to be an early pick in the draft. And it's also going to be Debo Samuel signing a contract worth north of $20 million. That just shows his value and how talented he truly is and how NFL teams value a player with that skill set. Kadarius Toney has a skill set similar to that. And the Giants, in my opinion, should not be giving up on a player with a skill set with that kind of potential. They should be doing their hardest work to develop that talent, develop Kadarius Toney into becoming the next Debo Samuel, because he has that kind of potential. And I think that if the Giants were to trade him, you know, after one rookie season that was just littered with injuries, a lot of that stuff was circumstantial and it was out of his control. Additionally, We're talking about Kadarius Toney looked phenomenal last season as a rookie when he was healthy, when he was utilized in Jason Garrett's offense, right? Jason Garrett's offense. And we've all been oogling and googling about Brian Dable's new offensive scheme that he's going to be implementing. And we've been saying, man, we can't wait to watch these players play in a good offensive scheme. Because if Kadarius Toney was flashing the potential last year in Jason Garrett's scheme, imagine what he'll do this year in Brian Dable's scheme. The Giants haven't even given Kadarius Toney a chance yet. He hasn't even been given a chance to prove himself to the new regime in the new offensive scheme. And I think it's completely unfair if the Giants go ahead and trade him before he even takes a snap in preseason, before he even takes a snap in practice. Now, I understand he could have taken some snaps recently because he could have gone to the voluntary workouts, and he hasn't, and that has created some controversy. 
I completely understand all of that. But my main point here is that Kadarius Tony is too talented to give up on this early. We need to give him some more time. I understand he maybe isn't the best character fit for the Giants right now, but they can help him. They can fix that. And honestly, with somebody who has this type of talent potential, they should probably do their best to look past certain things in his character and make sure that he gets on the field and gets involved in the game plan. Kadarius Tony is that good. He could be your whole game plan. He is that talented or at least has the ability and potential to develop into somebody that talented. Let's go through some more of the rumors and reports um, as I continue to give my opinions. Zach Rosenblatt, he tweeted out, what could the Giants even get for for a Kadarius Tony trade? I heard a mid-round pick. So if the Giants were to trade Kadarius Tony, their first round pick in last year's draft, they are not going to be getting a first round pick in return for him. Probably at best, a fourth round pick. Something in the middle rounds, four or five, maybe three. Three sounds even rich at this point because it sounds like, according to all the rumors, they're selling very low on Kadarius Tony. They know that his draft stock or his, his valuation right now around the league is not very high. They just don't want him. They just want to get rid of him and move on, which, again, it doesn't make sense to me. That whole logic right there does not make sense. Selling low on a player with this high of an upside does not make complete sense to me. So let's keep going through. Ralph Vacchiano, I don't have much to add to the report that the Giants are actively trying to trade Kadarius Tony from Pat Leonard. But I talked to several NFL sources tonight who heard Tony is available. One said it sounded like the Giants were, quote, more listening than shopping, end quote, for now. And I think this is a really important report right here by Ralph Vacchiano because it makes a clear distinction between the report that Pat Leonard let out and the report that Ralph Vacchiano is letting out. They're two completely different things because Pat Leonard is saying that the Giants are shopping Kadarius Tony, meaning they are calling teams trying to trade him. But Ralph Vacchiano is saying that they are more listening to teams calling to trade for Kadarius Tony rather than shopping. So big difference between listening to teams calling and making calls to teams. And that does fall in line with the fact that the Giants are more listening than shopping. That does fall in line with what Joe Shane said uh, at the NFL Draft Combine on March 1st. This is a quote from Joe Shane uh, provided by Art Stapleton. Quote, I don't think Kadarius is a tradable piece. Again, if somebody calls, we're going to listen. But He's a good young player that our coaches really like. We've been in constant contact with him, and we're excited to see what he can do, end quote. So that quote right there from Joe Shane, I understand members of the front office, they can lie to members of the media at any point in time, and it happens rather frequently. We all remember, I mean, this situation is giving me horrible PTSD flashbacks, right, to Odell Beckham Jr. When Odell Beckham Jr. was on the trade block, Dave Gettleman sat there and said, we did not sign Odell to trade him. We are not trading Odell Beckham Jr. I will not take any more questions because we are not doing it. Then weeks later, they traded Odell, right? So we've seen general managers lie to the media, but this is eerily similar because again, it's so Shane saying we are not shopping Kadarius Tony. We will listen to calls on everybody like we do because that's our due diligence. That's our job. That's what the GMs always say. They have to listen to trades for everybody, right? They don't, but they'll tell you that's what they're going to do. Um, and then, of course, behind the scenes, they could be doing the complete opposite. Maybe the Giants are calling teams trying to tra trade Kadarius Tony. But, you know, Joe Shane, with that quote saying he does not think Kadarius Tony is a tradable piece, he's only going to listen if somebody calls, but he's not somebody that they are trying to shop. That falls in line with the report that Ralph Facchiano let out last night at 9 o'clock. So, Hours after Pat Leonard's report went out, Ralph, Vac Ralph Vacchiano got around the league. He got to his sources, and he heard that the Giants are listening and not shopping. So I think that falls in line with what Joe Shane said at the Combine. I think that's probably what's going on here. That's probably the truth. The Giants, I mean, we're five days away from the 2022 NFL draft. The Giants have a few players that are going to be interesting to a couple teams, right? James Bradbury, I think, is going to get traded before the NFL draft begins. You know, there's only four days before then, but I think that there's a really good chance he gets traded. And I think teams are probably calling saying, hey, what's up with James Bradbury? Can we get him? Can we trade for him? But also, Kadarius Tony, what's going on with him? He's not at your voluntary workouts. Is, he's, is he somebody that you guys would maybe want to trade? That's probably what's going on here, in my opinion. That's my perspective of it. My reaction in this video is that I don't think the Giants are actually shopping Kadarius Tony. I do not believe this report. And honestly, we have seen Pat Leonard. He's been a little bit inconsistent in the past in terms of some of his reporting. I know he's got a very negative perception amongst Giants fans on Twitter. They all really dislike Pat Leonard um, because of certain things that he says and writes. Uh, there is a lot of hatred that gets directed towards Pat Leonard. And that's oftentimes because he is inconsistent in his reporting. So 
as as much as I want to say members of the media do the best job, Pat Leonard could be wrong with this report. He could have gotten bad information. And it sounds like what's lining up with everybody else, Ralph Vecchiano, Art Stapleton, all the other reporters, it sounds like it's not lining up to meet up with what Pat Leonard is saying. It doesn't match up. It sounds like the Giants are listening to calls for every single player. And Kadarius Tony is one of those players that has received a call. They, I don't think that they're actually going ahead and trying to shop him. But also, Jeff Howe, I don't know who Jeff Howe is. I've never heard of him before. Apparently, he's a NFL national insider for The Athletic. That's Jeff Howe. Giants wide receiver Kadarius Tony has an intriguing trade market. While I've heard from some teams that have no interest, others are high on the talent and ability to let them develop in their system. Sounds like he's been available for a little while. The draft could create urgency. So according to Jeff Howe, the Giants have had Kadarius Tony available for trade for a minute now, and the draft could be the reason that he actually does get traded because teams are looking to find some talent right now uh, before they get into the 2022 NFL draft, maybe try and solve a need at wide receiver before they get to the draft and have to do it there. So that makes sense. But again, part of the report saying that he's been available for a while. I mean, it doesn't seem like he's been available for a while. If he was available for a while, I feel like last month when the wide receiver, you know, trade frenzy was going on, maybe that's when it would have happened. Maybe that's when Kadarius Tony would have been traded. But again, who knows? I'm not inside these NFL front offices. I don't know what's going on here. But what I can say is that I don't think that Kadarius Tony is going to get traded. And I agree with what Lawrence Tyne said, former New York Giants legend who kicked us to two Super Bowls, right? Here's his tweet. So we are trading Kadarius Tony. I think that is a bad move if true. Sure, he should be at off-season workouts, but this kid will figure it out. And he is too talented to give up on after one injury-plagued season, in my opinion. Now, I feel like that is perfectly stated by Lawrence Tynes. I mean, what more can you say? He is arguably the most talented player on the Giants offense. That's how I feel about it. I think Kadarius Tony is incredibly talented. But he loves to rap and he loves to hang out with his family in the offseason and skip out on voluntary workouts. But Brian Dable made it clear those workouts are voluntary. He does not have to be here. We would like him to be, but he doesn't have to be. I don't think that this is a reason for the Giants to give up on Kadarius Tony and trade him away, especially for a mid-round pick. It's not worth it. I think he's worth more than that when he's playing at his full potential. I think if the Giants want to trade him, they should wait till mid-season, maybe try and get him the ball a ton in the first six weeks of the year, and then maybe try and trade him after that because he probably dis display a little bit more talent. I know the Giants might want to get a draft pick in this year's draft. Maybe a team wants to fill a need during this year's draft, but there's always going to be an opportunity to trade him down the line. He's still a young player, and he's still a very talented player. I don't think it's a good idea to sell Kadarius Tony when he's this low. And I also don't even think it's a good idea to trade him at all because of the talent that he possesses and the potential that Kadarius Tony has. I mean, really, though, when you take a look at him, you take a look at Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel is one of the most electric and versatile playmakers in the NFL. Kadarius Tony has that potential. I'm not the only one that thinks that. There are plenty of people that see that kind of potential with Kadarius Tony. In my opinion, it would be a really bad move for the Giants to go ahead and trade Kadarius Tony. I hope the reports of them shopping him are not true. If they're listening to offers, okay, so be it. They should be listening to offers on everybody. It's a new regime. They have no loyalty to any of these players. So that much I can understand. But if it's true that they're shopping him, I'm concerned. I don't like that. I want Kadarius Tony to be here with the New York Giants for the long haul. Now, I know the draft is only a few days away, so if this is going to happen, it's going to happen real soon. We're going to see a trade probably occur by Thursday night. That'll be really interesting. And, of course, if that does happen, right here on Fireside Giants, you'll be getting the updates. As soon as it happens, we'll all sit down with Alex, hopefully. Prayers up to Alex and his fiance. They're dealing with COVID right now. Uh, really sick, not feeling well. Make sure you leave Alex and Noga some well wishes down in the comments. But, of course, we're going to get through this. He's going to get through COVID. We're going to be ready for the 2022 NFL Draft. We can't wait to provide you guys with all the content that you can possibly dream of consuming. So make sure to stay tuned to Fireside Giant. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And of course, like I said, leave some comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this. I know there are some people who want Kadarius Tony to be traded. Again, that's not my opinion. I think that's crazy. I get that he hasn't been to the voluntary workouts, but there is so much talent there that I've refused to give up on this early. But let me know what you all think down in the comment section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell so you don't miss a video. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one, and let's go Giants.